So we believe that there are a lot of misconceptions around how face recognition works. So let's take a look at the inner working of facial recognition technology. Let's begin with the definition of facial recognition. It's a, a facial recognition system is a technology capable of identifying or verifying a person from a digital image or from video frames from a video source. So it's pretty much straightforward. So how does the technology work? We separate the different phases to training and inference. Training is the part where we build software components that can classify between different objects. The best practice is to utilize multiple deep neural networks, DNN, classifiers, such as person, gender, vehicle, etc., as well as DNN for extracting and for matching facial recognition. Each DNN has a unique training dataset designed to teach the network how to recognize the target object. Inference is the part where we train the network. The train network is now presented with an example it has never seen before. The DNN classification will determine what's the most probable class and will also output a degree of confidence. This is very similar to how our brain learns and that's why the technology is called after the network of neurons in our brains. They build as we learn new stuff. Now, the more examples you feed into a network, the better it gets in recognizing objects it hasn't seen. A bias in facial recognition can be caused by a, ne by a network that was trained by less examples of a certain kind of object than others. This gives the internal weighting system of the network an unfair tendency to prefer a certain result that may not be accurate. We can invest considerable efforts in creating balanced networks. On top of that, Grisham also adds other workflow techniques to compensate any bias in the system. 